There, that looks better. Now these side rails, right now I have this side out on this one and this side out on this one, but they can actually go the other way. So I'll just have to figure out now which do I think is the best. This side out or this side out. Now this seems to have a little bit of a blemish up here, but not, not serious. There's one here. You know it's a toss-up. Maybe this way out is the best. The most interesting grain here. This looks nice. Actually the best would be as if it could go like that. But of course it can't. Maybe I should flip a coin here. I did not flip a coin, but this is the way it's going to go. And I think we'll just mark these. Okay, this will be number one. And this will be number one. Okay, now where this one is going to come will be the same as if I was to put this on here like this. Okay, like that. Then because these are exactly the same Yes. Okay, I think you see what I'm trying to do here. Make a little mark here. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, and that way this whole thing will be square. When this one is <coughs> mounted, I guess it'd be like this. The distance from here to here should be exactly the same as from here to here. In other words, the dial board can be perfectly square. At least that's the plan. Okay. Here's number one, here's number one. Oh yeah. Well, I thought this was a good idea. Maybe I'll have to do it differently here. Now, is it a case of these screw heads are a little bigger than the other one I tried? Maybe I'll get a different screw. Okay, this is a different brand. Yeah, that seems to fit better. Make sure everything's pushed up tight against. Now where's my hammer? Hmm. 
Yeah, I can see that. Okay, let's see if we can make this one go better. Here's number two. Here's number two. Yeah. Now this one will be just a little bit harder. Well, maybe not. Got to make sure it's in the right place here. Okay, number four, number four. I'll readjust that just a tiny bit. There. Ah. There's our mark right there. Okay, this time I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to have the screw in the hole to start with. Get it yet? Yep, there it is. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my centering bit just to go in maybe an eighth of an inch because I will be setting this uh, drill press at an angle and going in at an angle. And uh, I find that with this ordinary bit, if I go at an angle, it catches and it does not go in where it's supposed to. So this will just sort of help get the bit to start in the right place. slipped on my macro lens it'd be a little clearer but you should be able to read that the outside diameter of those threads is uh, looks like about 5 30 seconds and my thought is that if I use a bit that's uh, 1 8 or maybe one size smaller that should be just about right for a pilot hole
Now I've already measured the angle that the pocket hole jig bit is at so I can get this the same. And I'm just going to sort of eyeball it here. Yeah, that looks pretty close. Yeah, what do you think? Now, needless to say, we don't want the bit coming right through and out the other side. So right now I have the quill all the way down as far as it will go. And I think if we stop right there, it should be safe. Let's just do a dry run here. Yeah, that's as far as it'll go. I think we should do a dry run here. Number three, number three. And I may end up having to snip the ends off of these. Let's just test it out and see. My other drill is upstairs. But, uh, you know, we'll do it the old fashioned way here. And make sure that this is going to be seated all the way down. I'm pushing as pretty near as hard as I can here. I think that's it. Let's just check here. Oh yeah, that should be all right. All right, let's just give it a whirl here. See what happens. Well, I found I'd say that particular one went perfect. Now if I can just get the other three uh, to go like that. Now this one here, um, it's going to come pretty close to the top. So I'm going to want to be careful not to round over that corner too much. Well, I wasn't planning on rounding anything over very much. I just wanted to, you know, just ease it so it didn't feel sharp. I uh, wasn't planning on doing any quarter round type thing or anything. I just wanted to make it nice and smooth. Okay, I'm happy with this. It, it came out pretty good here. Uh, we'll do the other three tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. And, all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.